हेलो एवरी वन सो मैनी ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स दे आर गेटिंग कन्फ्यूज इन दिस सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ और एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग इंक्रीमेंट डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर ओके सो लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग दिस द रूल्स ऑफ इंक्रीमेंट डिक्रीमेंट इज इट यूज द रूल ऑफ प्रिसिडेंस एंड एसोसिएटिविटी सो इन डिफरेंट कंपाइलर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट डिफरेंट आउटपुट ओके सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज कंपाइलर फॉर दिस You're going to get different output or different compiler. Okay, so theoretically, luckily for this exam, theory exam, uh, we have to do it theoretically. So I'm going to teach you a theoretical method. So using this method, your program will be correct, your answer will be correct. And in compiler, you know the outputs are different due to the compiler problem, you know um, versions or compiler problem. So we generally consider uh, according to the student's understanding. Okay. so a very simple method i'm going to teach even my teacher taught me this method only so i remember this method so this question has been asked in 2017 chaitra and i think this is the uh, question if you are if you are able to solve this question you can solve any question uh, related to increment decrement okay so let me write the question first so the question is in a equals to 2 b equals to 3 and c and then the expressions first expression is a equals to b plus 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 b plus a so i'll leave a space because i'll be solving here only second expression is c equals to a greater than b conditional operator okay question mark a b okay so a uh, space is here again third expression is b equals to a plus 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 b minus minus Plus a, and the last expression is c equals to c plus plus into b minus minus. Okay, so all these four are in same question. So we have to solve these equations, uh, sorry, these expressions one by one, and at at the end you have to find the value of a, b, and c. Fine. So uh, always for these questions, I have taught my students to always make a memory table. Okay. like what is the value what is the value that is changing in memory okay so in this method if you use this method it will never let you down so prepare a memory table like this and you know write uh, the value of a b and c here so a b and c i think only three variables are there initially the value of a is 2 the value of b is 3 and the value of c is nothing but 0 okay so first rule what is the first rule for pre increment in any equation i'll write the rule here so there are three rules for in any equation first check pre okay first check for pre how many pre's are there so the number of pre increment value by that okay and then use in expression and finally you know uh use post increment first of all you have to use pre increment then after incre incrementing the value by that number we use in expression and then we use the post increment so use this rule first of all in this expression let us check how many pre's are there so there is only one pre plus plus b it means that the value of b is incremented by 1 okay so first increment the value of b so what is the new value it is 4 so now use this in expression if there was one more pre for b it would have been 5 but only one pre is there so it is 4 now use this incremented value updated values always remember always update the value in memory table and always use the value from there only so you'll never get confused so what is the value of b now 4 so 4 plus 4 plus what is the value of a 2 so it becomes 10 Okay, so after first expression, what is the value of a? It is ten. What is the value of b? So still we are there. Okay, we have not checked for any post increment. So is there any post increment? Yes, there is a post increment, and it has incremented the value of b by one. So hence the value of b becomes five. Now it's done. Now let's go to second part. So what is the value of a? Ten. Ten is greater than what is the value of b? Five. 10 is greater than 5 no it is not greater so what will be the value you know conditional operator if the value is true it goes here if the value is false it goes there so the value is false so it goes to b it means that the value of c will become equal to value of b 
okay so a uh, what is the value of uh, okay just a minute i did something mistake 10 is greater than 5 yeah it is true it is not false so the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 5 so 10 is greater than 5 yes it is greater so if it is true it goes here it means that the value of c is 10 now okay so the value of c is 10 done this expression done no pre and post increments here let's go to another so is there any pre increment no there are no pre increment hence we'll go here what is the value of a 10 what is the value of b 5 what is the value of a 10 so the value becomes 25 so what is the updated value of b it is 25 now but wait okay it is 25 now but wait we have to check for the post increment so a plus plus it means we'll plus a value here it becomes 1 b minus minus we'll do a minus 1 so it becomes 24 okay so now last expression use the value from here so c what is the value of c it is 10 into what is the value of b it is 24 so it becomes 240 so what is the value of c it is 240 now check for post c plus 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 1 it becomes 241 b minus 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 1 it becomes 23 and no change in a hence the value of uh, hence the value of a is 11 b is 23 and c is 241 this is our answer okay so in exam also if you prepare this memory table you are going to get marks because this is how the teacher knows you have solved this okay so i think uh, if you solve this question if you get this question you are going to get any question if you are going to solve any question so if you have any query in this let me know okay thank you and please study well i think your exams are now only two three or four days left Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.